Hi, welcome to my channel and today I have another theatre vlog for you. However, today is not a musical, it's a play. I'm going to go and see the Curious Incident of the Dog in the Night Time, which is on at the Manchester Opera House at the moment. I think it's on till the end of the week, till Saturday. It's Thursday today. I actually paid, it was £9.95 for my ticket, it was £10 off tickets. There's an offer on, so I managed to get my ticket for £9.95, which is an absolute bargain. I am sat in the grand tier, so the very top tier. Um, I think I'm on row K, uh, so I'll show you the view, what it's like. I'll show you what the leg room is like. Hopefully it's better than the last time I went to the palace. Um, so, yeah, it should be fun. Lawrence and I don't often go to plays. We sometimes do. We mostly enjoy musicals, but we don't mind going to the odd play now and then when there's a good one. And this is supposed to have really good reviews, so I'm really looking forward to going. Lawrence isn't coming with me tonight. It's just me on my own. He's watching the kids. Um, so, yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. So I'll get back to you now probably when I'm on my way to the theatre. Now, I just bought a program and a magnet. I think it's about 15 minutes till the auditorium opens, so not too long. So, the auditorium is now open. I'm just setting it up to my seat. But the guy runs up, so a lot of steps to climb. say limited leg room but there's loads of leg room compared to the seat it was in the other day at 9 to 5 there's loads of leg room in this so yeah I'll show you my seat now what? okay so this is my seat okay seat 14 see there's lots of leg room 
in this one. So, plenty of leg room. Nothing like the one in the palace the other day. And then this is the view of the stage. Yeah, it's a really good view. So it's about half an hour now till it starts. So I'm going to read the program. Yeah, just picked up the program. So I'm going to read that now till it starts. better than I thought it was going to be I just really really enjoyed it um, as you know I'm, I'm more used to going to musicals musicals are my favorite theatre thing to go to however I do tend I have been to a few plays I've also been to a few operas as well um, but yeah musicals are my favorite but this was really really good I really enjoyed this play um, this is probably the best play I think that I've been to um the sets were really good the cast was amazing the cast was really really good 
I also loved the way they told the story. I thought it was really, um, really interesting. And yeah, I just had a really good time. So I definitely recommend it. If this is coming to a theatre near you, definitely go and see it. It's a really good show. So if you don't know, the Curious Incident of Dog in a Nighttime is about a 15 year old boy called Christopher Boone, who is he's supposed to be, I think he's supposed to be like autistic. He's, I mean, he struggles with like everyday life things. Like he doesn't like being touched. Um, he doesn't like like talking to people and he like dis distrusts strangers and he doesn't like venturing off alone he only goes with his parents so he doesn't travel very far by himself so when his neighbor's dog gets killed this takes him on a journey like upturns his world so it was a really really good story it's definitely definitely a good story and i definitely recommend you seeing it so yeah, the play is based on a book by Mark Haddon, which I think was released in 2004. Um, so maybe I need to read the book because the play was really, really good. Um, I was sat in the um, gallery, I think it's called the Gallery in the Opera House. That's at the very top tier. I was on row K. Um, on my ticket it said limited leg room, but there definitely wasn't limited leg room. Not compared to the one at 9 to 5 where I couldn't even fit my legs between the seats. There was plenty of leg room in this seat. Um, it was really comfortable, had a really good view. Well, I say I had a good view. I had a good view till a six foot person sat in front of me. And then, and then there was a person who was really wriggly as well. He was constantly moving around. Um, it was a school. And yeah, I have to say there was a lot of school schools there, school or colleges. And yeah, they talked a lot throughout it messing about on their phones, passing sweets to each other. It was a bit distracting. Um, I'm sure one person was just on the phone the whole time and just carried on just talking through the whole thing. Um, so that was a bit annoying, but I didn't like ruin, ruin it. I just tried to block it out. But yeah, other, other than that, it was really, really good. And the seat was really cheap. It was only, I think it was £9.95 or something like that. And there was a special offer for £10 off your ticket. So I think that seat must have been like £19.95 or something before the discount. Um, but yeah, it was, a, it was a really good seat. I'd sit there again. The view was good. And yeah, I'm just really glad I went to see it. And obviously for £9.95, it's an absolute bargain. Um, to go and see the show. So it's on at the Manchester Opera House till Saturday the 12th of March. So when this video goes up it's probably going to be the last day but it is on tour. Uh, I'm not sure where it's going to next but I will link down below the website for the production and it should tell you the tour dates of where it's going to next on there. Um, so yeah I did pick up a program I wasn't expecting it to have much merch, but they actually did have quite a bit of merchandise. They had notebooks, they had uh, mugs, they had magnets, uh, they had pin badges, they had a sweatsh um, a hoodie, I think they had a t-shirt and a tote bag. They had quite a lot. I did film it for you and uh, I think I filmed the price list as well, um, but I just picked up the, I picked up the magnets. I, didn't fit, I thought these were going to look like this because in the program it shows this as a magnet. It doesn't show this. I thought I was getting a magnet like this, but I didn't. I got this. Um, yeah, I'm not too keen on it. I would have preferred the one that looked like that. Um, but it does say the name of the show on it. It was £4. But yeah, I'm a bit disappointed with this because I thought I was getting a magnet that looked like that. But never mind. Um... And then, yeah, that was £4 for the maggots, uh, magnets, and then this was um, £4. What was the magnet? £5. I'm not quite sure. I can't, rem I can't remember how much it came to, but these are usually £4. Um, so I'll just give you a quick look at the programme. Okay, so here is the front of the programme, and then on the first page it tells a bit about the Manchester Opera House and what's on there at the minute. Okay, some more about the theatre. So here is your cast list. So this is your main character, Christopher Boone. So he is played by two different people, David Breeds and Connor Corrin. So 
So in the performance I saw, it was Connor Curran playing Christopher. And he was amazing. He was so good. I really, really enjoyed his performance. He was really, really good. There you go. Um, tell me about Pythagoras' theorem. So 10 years on, this is saying, um, this is telling you what the play is like now, 10 years on from when it started. Some different um, mathematical theorems, theories. Things about maths. And you got the biographies. If you cast yeah, some cast photos with them in rehearsals. And then you just got um, some, you just got adverts then for some other shows. And there we go, that's your programme. So yeah, I hope you have enjoyed this little theatre vlog. Lawrence and I are actually going to the theatre Actually, I'm going to the theatre next week. I'm going to go and see Dreamboats and Petticoats, which is on the Palace Theatre. So I'll be seeing that on Monday. And then the week after, I'm me and Lawrence are going to go and see Animal Farm at the Lowry, uh, which is another play. And it's done with all puppets, so I'm really interested in seeing that one. Um, and then the next day after that, I'm going to go and see Joseph, which I think is at the Opera House. Yeah, it is, because I think Beauty and the Beast is on the palace then. So yeah, there's quite a few theatre things coming up in the next couple of weeks. So if you like theatre vlogs, please do subscribe and hit the notification bell, and you'll be notified as soon as those vlogs go up. So like I said, I hope you've enjoyed this little video. If you have, please do give it a like. Don't forget to subscribe, and I hope to see you again soon. Bye.